COP28 in Dubai over the next two weeks is incredibly important because for the first time since the adoption of the Paris Agreement in 2015, parties to the Paris Agreement are going to get together and take stock of all the climate action that they've taken, what further efforts are needed, and hopefully reinvigor and implement climate action to deal with the global climate crisis. My name is Mitchell Lennon. I am a lecturer in environmental law at the law school here at the University of Aberdeen. My research focuses on uh, the regulation of the marine environment in the face of climate change. So I look at the intersection of international climate change law, international law of the sea, biodiversity law and human rights. And the reason I'm going to COP and the reason that's important in this context is because of this concept called ocean-based climate action. Despite the the fact that the ocean is the world's biggest carbon sink and helps regulate our global climate, it was only introduced into the United Nations climate change policy discussion in Glasgow at 2021. So my research focuses on how we can develop ocean-based climate action in a way that promotes biodiversity, respects, protects and upholds human rights and will actually help us uh, in dealing with the climate crisis. COP28 in itself is a huge meeting of different representatives from different states, different delegations, youth. So you have scientists, you have diplomats, you have lawmakers, climate activists, you have academics as well. So it's important with the University of Aberdeen is represented because of our interdisciplinary expertise. Energy transition, renewables, international environmental law, climate science. Representatives from our professional services staff are attending in order to find out more about green jobs and how we can help our students in getting into those career paths. So the outcome of COP28 is crucially important because decisions made here will affect how climate action moves forward within the next decade and how much global ambition is set in order to deal with the climate crisis over the coming years.